Welcome to your strategy guide. Apologies, it is so late, but as a WF1 went to a Christmas party yesterday, and let's just say, well, late night, we needed some recovery. So we was not in a shape to do a strategy guide, but hopefully you can still get some benefit out of it today. So good luck in your rounds, and hopefully you make it through to final round. We have still got the Formula One delayed Las Vegas GP event in F1 Clash, and it still runs of Lewis Hamilton, Vector, and Horizon, all 10% boosted. Remember to check rare Lewis Hamilton. He could be very good for you indeed. So, what are the tracks that we've got coming up in opening round and final round? We've got Bahrain, which could see some extreme heat as well, up to 39 degrees. We've got the fastest lap track of Austria, 10 laps. Silverstone for race number three, Caesars tackle potentially 18% chance of rain. We've got Jeddah for race number four with some potential heat as well. Race five sees a double header with race six. Both go to America. And it is 20% chance of rain in Austin and 0% chance of rain in Miami. Both rocking the seven laps. And then we finish with the two possible hardest tracks on the game. However, that is what I feel. It is Imola, no rain. And Monza, which rain could be a pain. So that is your opening round and final round tracks if you do make it. Hopefully our strategies that are coming up will give you the full detail as why you should be using them. Make sure to take a screenshot, make sure to revisit them all the time and make sure to listen because I tell you really why you should be going for these strategies. And remember, the strategies are chosen with the very best boosts on the game. If you don't have them best boosts, then you want to use something similar. If I'm using race start and cornering, find a boost that uses race start and cornering. It might not be as powerful, but every little helps. So let's get into your strategy guide, your delayed strategy guide for the Las Vegas GP. And let's see what we've got coming up. So we start with Bahrain and we mentioned the temperature, 21 to 39 degrees. So if you are running and it is getting up to over 34, you want to use some slower tyres which are more durable so they last longer. But if not, well, we're using the normal strategies. From the front, it's a free soft, free soft, two soft with Merlion and tuning. And then we've got Merlion and Tuning again, but for four medium, four medium. From the back, we've got a two soft, three soft, three soft with Kawhi and Cooper. Make sure you're doing the undercut because that can work very powerfully. And the other driver doing a three soft, three soft, two soft with Kawhi and Cooper again. Make sure to conserve down the straights. There's about three of them that you can conserve power unit on. And you want to attack through that middle sector because there are some great opportunities for overtaking there in Bahrain. So just, just keep an eye on the heat and make your most of your chances. Race two sees us go to the fastest lap track of this weekend. It is Austria and we've got a couple of strategies here for you. So starting from the front, we've got a free soft, free soft, four medium with Merlion and Kawhi and we've also got a five medium, five medium which seems to work very well with some decent tyre management. We've selected the Prince boost here to give you a bit stronger defending. And then from the back, We've got that same free soft, free soft, four medium. We've also got a four medium, free soft, free soft. Always making sure that the drivers don't double stack and you can go as hard as you can. That two stop really does work well um, when you come to coming from the back of the grid. Race three is Silverstone then. So our first track with a chance of rain. It's going to be a two stop using the same strategy from the very front. So we've got that two soft, two soft, three medium and that three medium, two soft, two soft. More speed and cornering for the front, whereas at the back you need that race start boost to help you. So that's why we've got Cooper and Kawhi on there. And then in the wet, so in the wet you're going to be expecting all AI to pit lap four if it's a full wet race. They're all going to do four laps on the wets and then do three laps to bring it home. If you are from the front, a four wet, three wet is fine. But if you are from the back or further back, you want to be trying getting on that undercut, three wet, four wet. Push for the first three laps as hard as you can because you are hardly going to be able to use any power unit on that final push, basically. That four laps is going to be tough. You can use a tyre boost, though, like Nazar, which will give you a little bit more tyre management to help you push. But yeah, definitely lap four from the back is a nightmare. So get in on lap three. 
Number four is Jeddah. So we've got the two soft, two soft, two soft, one soft. And we've got the three hard, two soft, two medium. And there could be some potential heat in this one as well. So if it's over 34 degrees, you might want to swap the softs for mediums, the mediums for hards. From the back, two soft, two soft, three hard. And I've actually found the three hard, three hard, one soft kind of gets you away from all the pitting. So it does work really well. But the one thing I want to call out here on Jeddah is it really just depends on what your AI do. If the AI start mostly on hards, you want to come in sooner and switch your strategy. If they're all on the softs or mediums, they'll be doing two laps. So you want to overcut them as well. So it really just depends on what strategy the AI pick. And then into the double headers, the double header of America and the double header of the Italian tracks. First up is Austin. So from the front, three soft, two soft, two soft is absolutely fine. And then we switch to that one stop for the rest of the drivers. Four medium, three soft with Merlion and Copper. And we've also got from the back, three soft, four medium, four medium, three soft. So if you've not got great tire management, look to pit or sorry, look to use a slower compound. So three medium, four hard, for example. But you can do the softs with around 80 tyre management, maybe even less than that. 75, you can do absolutely fine. In the wet, though, wow. A lot of the AI tend to pit lap four and lap five. So mainly the, from the back of the field, lap four, front of the field, back, lap five. So you want to get in there earlier. We're doing a four wet, three wet from the front and a three wet, four wet from further back. We've got the race start boost from the back and we've got the speed pit stop from the front. Race six takes us to Miami. There's only one strategy. Well, there's two, but there's two strategies to follow at Miami. We've got two soft, two soft, three medium, and a three medium, two soft, two soft. We've got Merlion and Kawhi from the front, and we've got Copper and Kawhi from the back. Conserve down them big straights. There's two very big straights in Miami, and you want to conserve down there as hard as you can so you've got the power unit to attack through the corners. Race 7 then starts us on that Italian difficulty because Italian tracks seem to be difficult this year. From the front, 3 soft, 3 soft, 2 soft and a 4 medium, 4 medium. You can do 3 softs. You do need over about 85 tyre management but you can switch to mediums if you want, if you want to be on the safer side. We've got the 4 medium, 4 mediums the same. <clears throat> Decent tyre management needed for that. But from the back, you can do the undercut. Two soft, three medium, three medium, and a three medium, three medium, two soft. That's your alternative strategy. The reason why I don't do a one stop from the back is you're going to be doing a four hard, four hard, and that's just going to be too slow against the champion AI. And then finally, Monza. We've got the three soft, three soft, two soft, if you've got good tire management from the front, and a four hard, four hard. We've got two soft, three medium, three medium, and a four hard, four hard from the back. We've got Kawhi and Copper for them two stops. We've got Merlion as well in there. And then in the wet, expect all AI to pit on lap number four. You might get Lewis Hamilton probably pitting potentially lap five with his tyre management, but it's a pain in the wet. You can't really undercut because you can't really do five laps very well. So you're just going to have to bite the bullet on this one with a four wet, four wet and pit the same time as everybody else your pit stop boosts will help you though and then from the back we've had to pick a free wet free wet two wet and try and be different to see if we can try and clutch any more points out of the bag so good luck this weekend i know some of yours rounds have already started but hopefully you can go out there and smash it and final round will bring you your best ever result here on f1 clash